Moving on to the big one on uh, Tuesday. It is the champion hurdle, and the star mare herself, Honeysuckle, is currently our one to two favourite. Uh, appreciate, appreciate is three to one. Tihupu is eight to one. Epitot nine to one. Twelve to one. Zana here fourteen to one. Adagio. <coughs> Tommy's Oscar is twenty to one, and it is twenty two to one. Bar, what have you got for us here, Darren? <laughs> Sorry, I know it's Dan, I know. Okay. What have you got for, for us here, Dan? <laughs> well, we can't really boost Honey Supper because the prize is going to tempt anyone in the prize, but mm. we're going to do the treble, which I think a lot of people would play on the day anyway. So Honeysuckle, Shishkin and Alaho, all to win was 10 to 3. We're going to boost it to 9 to 2. Okay, nothing so wrong with that. Get some coverage in that race, I think. Are you a Honeysuckle fan? How can you not be, really? I, I, she, I think, again, she got a few pelters for the last performance, mm. for idling in front, but she put that race to bed in. What, 200 yards? It was over. Like she pulled clear, didn't have to do anything. And given how she's been going, you can't really blame her for just almost treating it with a bit of contempt. I, I struggle to see how a horse can perform. They're going to have to perform to a, something in the mid-170s without the allowance to really get to one her at her, at her best. <coughs> now, will she be at her best? There's not much to say she won't be. This is obviously the plan for her. It's always been the target. I think Tia Hooper against her. I was impressed with him the last time. I think he beat a very fair yardstick in Durasso by 11 lengths. He's developed into a solid mid to low 150s horse this year. He pulled clear in the manner of a decent horse. And last year's juveniles are looking a, a serious bunch, other than maybe Calixios, who's let it down, and, and Mon Morale. But St. Sam, Riviera de Terre, Horten Kalua, Daggio, it looks like a decent crop. Uh, so normally I would be against five-year-olds, but I was very impressed by the way he pulled clear the last day. I, I think I'd have him as the one to chase her home, but I, I can't really oppose Honeysuckle. Right, boys. What's the jazz with appreciated? Who knows him best? Has either of you sat on appreciated at home in the last couple of weeks? Nope. No. <laughs> right, bad start. Have either of you seen appreciated working, be it on the Curra or Clyde Sutton in recent weeks? Yeah. Right, Mikey boy, take it away. Oh, yeah, he's going well, yeah. <laughs> Anything else? No? No? Um, no, but sure, with, he hasn't ran in a year and he's taken on. As my good mate Lee Chin calls her, horny suckle. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the greatest, the greatest, the greatest mare that I've ever seen, and the greatest racehorse running all week. She, no, nothing will beat her at all. You can put appreciate it and funny all on. It won't beat her. I don't think. Right. Yeah. Like that nickname. Very, very. Uh, he was the one that came up with it. He backed yeah. her the last couple of years. And that's what he calls her. He doesn't have a vast knowledge of horses, but he just always goes. Oh, that's the mayor. Yeah. 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 So, Honeysuckle, you, you think she's one of the best horses to run all week? Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> David? Yeah, it'd be the same. Appreciate it's a very good horse. There's no doubt about it. Absolute aeroplane, but he has no chance of beating Honeysuckle if she's on fire. Wow. Okay. Honeysuckle. Don't leave me hanging. Yeah. You know what I mean? This is a Dublin crowd, like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dan. Uh, if you take Honeysuckle out and appreciate it potentially, there is each way value here. Is there anything that tickles your fancy? Not really. I agree with nearly everything that Dan said. Um, like, I didn't, I didn't agree. If she got a wee bit of stick for the last day, but just as Dan said, like she pulverised them. She went, she went clear around the home turn. Like she went, she went about six lengths clear from level in about twenty-five strides. Like she's just, and that's the winning of the race. And then she idled a bit and she got tired maybe, and she was got in tight to the final flight as she always does, but. No, she's unbelievable. Like she's just incredible. And I think she, she, like, you don't really find out how good a horse is until it's been beaten. She's never been beaten, so we still don't know really how good she is. I know she's bought 165 and she gets a seven pounds allowance, but she could be even better than that, you know. Um, it'll be some training performance by Willie Mullins to get appreciated to win the champion hurdle to beat her in the champion hurdle. Look, you wouldn't put it past him, and he did it with Penn Hill in the stairs. And why does Paul Townend keep saying, "I can't wait to take on Honeysuckle with sure. the big horse," as he calls him? Like he, seems not, pretty, yeah. he seems pretty convinced that he'll make a real race. Oh, the it. vibes seem to be very positive, don't they? A lot, it? A lot mm -hmm. is how you guys word stuff. Do you know what I mean? And then it's phrased up in big right. <coughs> you know, not you, but the people that ask him. Like, Paul Turner doesn't say a whole pile, really, to the media. So could you take that? Patrick said that, doesn't he? Doesn't no, I, I, well, I interviewed Paul him and he said No, no, I know. No, I'm, not, I'm not saying he never said that, uh, that he could beat Honeysuckle, but he's dying to take her on with a really good horse. But I read it like that as well, but I know him, Paul, I don't think he would have phrased it like that. Well, I was standing beside him, like. That's probably because Paddy was right in charge of it. I, I see where you're coming from. I do yeah. see where you're coming from, but he, he was like. He took oh, around with Benny to do before. Yeah, I can't wait to have yeah. another go at it. Like, he, he wasn't very defeatist when he was telling me, like. But I, he obviously understands that Honeysuckle is going to be but virtually impossible to beat. But I was just interested in how sweet he was 
unappreciated getting close to her even. Like he seems to think he's got a right shot like it, it would be some performance though, as a trainer, like to get to get a horse back. Like his last run was an, an hour and a half before Honeysuckle won the champion hurdle. Mm. That's his last run. And he was what, one point seven seconds slower or something better. Would but he was only a novice. He's full sure he'd have her back. He'll have him back oh, in yeah. tip top nick, there's no doubt about it. But that'd be the least of me worries now, is really yeah. getting her in tip top shape for the yeah. run like. Yeah. Nah, the layoff wouldn't worry you at all. Not you know? at all. It's just honeysuckle. I, I, her attitude towards racing, everything she does, I've never seen an animal like it. You can send her on three out, you can hang on to her, you can fire at the lash, she'll put down, you can ride her anywhere, settle fast, slow pace. Bomb proof. And she stays and it's a and credit to miles. Henry. Credit to Henry, Rachel, all that. It's a remarkable uh, racehorse. Yeah, to do it at the top level, yeah. keep winning, it's so tough. Like. So tough. So Don, yeah. how'd you happen for us from an each way no, perspective? No, just again, he, like he's, a, he's an improved, I know five-year-olds have a bad record, but Esparta then run a, one as a five-year-old, and he's an improving horse, like he didn't g even run at Cheltenham last year. He's won his three hurdles, he's beaten Calixios a couple of times. The tur again, sh he showed a turn of foot at, at Goran Park the last day, which I think that was new. I don't think we'd really seen that from him before. He came away, away from Durasso and Calixios just really impressively on heavy ground. And Robbie Parr said afterwards he hated the ground, that he'd be even better and better ground. So it'll be interesting to see him at Cheltenham. But yeah, I think he could outrun his odds, maybe. There you go. He's 8-1 to one with fans bet. Uh, so maybe an each way alternative to Honeysuckle. But I think we all think Honeysuckle is bomb-proof. Dear Nolan, you will really impress me here now if you can make an argument to get Honeysuckle beaten. No, we are the, the Honeysuckle podcast. Yeah, if any members. Yeah, we've been on about her now since, yeah, for, for Mayor's Novice days. But the... Uh, no, I actually kind of like having races like this where you can just kind of go, right, look, there's, you know, there is 28 races, so no, I, I don't see her beating. She, her turn of foot is when Ruby Walsh on the road to Cheltenham did there were two races side by side. I know he's a novice, but the way Honeysuckle turned around the bend and just went, you know, I, I just don't see appreciated living with that. Uh, I, I, I think he's a brilliant horse. The kind of confidence against Honeysuckle from the kind of, that, that's been there before, you know, as in Benny to do was they fancied her out of the way to beat Honeysuckle, Honeysuckle beat her. I know you can question maybe the ride in the day or anything else, but Honeysuckle had the race won again, jump at the last. That's, that's just what she does. She gets away. I don't think you, I think you can rerun that race a few times and Honeysuckle still wins it. Um, it's her kick towards the last that just gets her away from everything. I think appreciated, ran into Supreme last year for the lack of a Fernie Hollow, and I think he was much better than everything else in the field. I think in time, appreciated goes up and trip. Um, and I just don't see him living with that turn of foot turn in the bench. And just to add a bit of balance there, Rose Chetland was not your only Chetland preview show, it's also <laughs> up in the ante, just to let you know if you want to watch it. Uh, Dean Ryan, Honeysuckle to win, what follows our home? Yeah, um, obviously, obviously we're, you know, we're going to be all over Honeysuckle, you can't get involved this year at the prices that she is, hopefully she just carries on and does what she does. Um, the, one, the one I thought, if you're going to bet without or you know, looking for an each way play, you know, maybe something goes wrong, I guess one day she'll get beat but it probably won't be this day. Uh, Adagio, I thought, would, would be the springer in here. I thought it was a fair price still at an each way, each way price. I thought it ran fine it behind Gosh, and I wasn't too disappointed with that. Um, ran huge in the Greatwood, of course. Ran big in a triumph, loves Cheltenham, gonna get up the hill. They'll be having a go, I think, I think they should have a go. And uh, something has to finish second. It'd be amazing if Appreciate can put out to Honeysuckle after that delay. It is Willie Mullins, it is possible. Don't think anything that Appreciate beat the year before would give it any kind of credence, but it's an aeroplane, it's just unfortunately there's, you know, there's a Concorde in front of it, unfortunately. Oh, I like what you did there. Mm -hmm. uh, Impressive. Yeah. Yeah. That was good. That's yeah. yeah. written down yeah. there, isn't it? <laughs> no, no, no. You're no. flying now, Dean. <laughs> 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 oh.